Welcome back everybody, this is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Let's Play. We're in hard mode on Calamity, and we're playing Revengeance mode. We were actually just farming up some stuff and organizing our inventory when the Goblin Army just spawned. And so I figured I'd start recording and begin the episode right here. Whoa! <laughs> and we got some stuff right off the bat. I want to kill as many of those boss goblin witches or goblin summoners as I can. This Lunarian bow is just really going to take them down quickly. Ooh, and we got a, a bow just there. It's the shadow flame bow right on the ground. It's actually a decent hard mode item to get right off the bat. Okay, well, we got two of them, so we can finish up this fight real quick. So here we go with our Shadow Flame Bow. I think it's actually doing more damage than our Lunarian Bow, even though it might be a little bit slower. Although it's pretty fast, too, so I don't know. This might be our new bow that we use for a while. And this is not actually rolled to Unreal, so once when we get it with a proper roll, it should be doing pretty good damage. That's our third Shadow Flame bow that we got from this event. And we got the knives, we got the Warblade, I think that's pretty hard mode. Here we go, a DPS meter. I've been wanting to get one of those for a while. Um, and he finally sold it, so we'll be able to check our items a lot easier now. So I'm gonna grab some more rope from our merchant. I'm gonna build a rope up to the planetoid right above us so we can farm some of the essence of sunlight. Plus we need souls of flight which will be helpful for getting our wings that we need. I want to try to create demon wings because I saw that those were buffed. Okay we've already got a wyvern that spawned and I not sure which bow is going to be the right one for it. Okay, yep, definitely the piercing bow. I built just some platforms to make a little bit of an arena up here so we could start finding some more essence of cinder. We've already got one and we just need a few of those before we can craft our next bow, which is, I'll just show it to you right now. Whoa, what is that? It's like a UFO, but we're not in the UFO event. Whoa, we got another guy. <laughs> Don't give us much time. Although with piercing like this, these are not really, the wyverns are not hard to kill. So we got another one of those. What we need is, like I was saying, the living fire blocks, which I already farmed in the underworld, and obsidian. And then we just need the Essence of Sunlight, which we've almost got. And then we'll be able to craft our next upgraded bow, which I think should be an improvement over all four of our bows that we're using right now. Oh, a Harpy Banner. That's good. Put that down. We also need some feathers. I think we need 10 before we can craft our wings. The demon wings actually increase damage and crit strike chance by 10%, which they never did before, and so that's a new thing that was added in Calamity. And I really like that because there was never a reason to do anything other than just immediately go with jungle wings, but with the buff that they've done to demon wings, it's actually worth getting. And then angel wings add a lot of extra defense. I'll just pull that up right now. Angel Wings add 15 defense, 3 life regen, and 20 max life. Definitely a big increase from our Skyline Wings. So I'm going to go ahead and just head back to base, and we can start crafting some stuff. Now we have everything we need for our next bow, as well as our new wings. So let's craft both of those. We're going to do the Flare Wing Bow. And then we need to craft our wings, which we can do right here. Let's try out this bow real quick. Whoa, <laughs> this bow is awesome. It's like the tsunami. 
Okay, we definitely need to re-roll this and get Unreal. So this Charm of Luck is actually something that gives you a better chance when you reforge items. Okay, we got warding. That cost quite a bit because wings are really expensive. And then next we need to re-roll this bow. Ooh, this is another expensive bow. Well, we just blew through a ton of platinum right there. We never did get what we wanted for our flare wings. So I'm gonna put away a couple things and then see what we can sell so we can keep rolling. So we can sell just some stuff we don't need like copper ore, silver ore, silver bars, demonite, and amethysts. Although I don't think that gave us really as much as I was hoping for. Let's see how much gold we've got. Only got 27 gold. Hmm. Another thing we could do is fight a few bosses. I've got plenty of Eye of Cthulhu summons, and it's night right now, so I may just kill a few Eye of Cthulhus. So let's see what we can get from the Eye of Cthulhu. If we sell everything in it, we get about 20 gold per Eye of Cthulhu. So I'll just kill a few of them and then we should be able to re-roll this bow. Well, that didn't take long and it is daytime now. We've killed him four times more. So let's go sell all this and see where we're at. Wow, only killing five Eye of Cthulhu's gave us about a platinum. And our first roll was unreal. Nice, okay, so we are set. This might even be good enough of a bow to defeat some bosses, like the Cryogen boss. So this bow is pretty sweet. The bats actually bounce off walls, so it's very much like Tsunami, but with bouncing attacks. Okay, we got a nice mimic right here. Got a little wizard weapon. What I've been doing is just running around, basically just killing mobs, hoping for some good drops, because we need a lot of stuff. Like the Ankh Shield is one that I really want to get, so I've just been farming up some of the pieces of the Ankh Shield. And then also getting mimics, not necessarily the ice mimics, but the just the normal mimics, because there's a lot of good accessories we can get. Honestly, this drill is like one of the best early game items I ever got. It's helping with exploration so much. We've got some hollowed biome above us, and so we just get tons of souls of light. We don't really have to work too hard for them because these enemies are pretty weak. There we go, hollowed mimic time. Ooh, and a normal mimic. This is great. Yes. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he reflected the damage and killed me. Ugh, that's a rookie mistake. Oh well, I can deposit all this stuff and then head back down there and keep farming. All these lava slimes are like totally messing up my arena. Oops, wall flesh just summoned. That's not good. The shadow flame bow is actually really good for the wall flesh. We've been farming for quite a while and we've got a lot of the items required for that necklace. So the first one's the charm of myths, which was the regeneration band and the philosopher's stone. And then the Star Veil, which is Star Cloak and Cross Necklace. So combine those. And the last thing we need is Stardust.
So to get the last part of that accessory, we need to collect the stardust from the astral biome, which is right here. Whoa. It looks like this the meteorite landed in the same place that my a normal meteorite landed before. This is an astral meteorite. And I think there's even old meteorite over there. This is pretty interesting. I'm, I don't know if that's normal, because it seems kind of random that it would land in the same location. I think this biome's really neat, and I love the idea of kind of the meteorite in hard mode. And then it has just such nice, calm music. Really enjoy this. Well, we've got plenty of stardust now. So with all the farming I've done, I still have not found a magic quiver. But in the Calamity mod, you can actually craft the magic quiver. All you need is the endless quiver, which is what I just created. At a crystal ball, you just combine four stacks of arrows. And then you need pixie dust, brighten lenses, and souls of light. I found the brighten lenses in the astral biome. And yeah, I don't know if there's another place to find them, but there we go. We have our magic quiver. The next thing I want to craft is this awesome item called the Deific Amulet. So it takes up a ton of materials. We need to combine the Charm of Myths, Jellyfish, Panic Necklace, Shark Tooth, Star Veil, Stardust, and Meteorite. What this amulet does is it makes you move faster after taking damage, it increases armor penetration, it makes you immune for a longer time after being hit. It also provides light underwater and a small amount of light in the abyss and it causes stars to fall when damaged, and it reduces the cooldown of healing potions. So it does basically everything that all of its components do. So the other thing we've been farming for has been the Ankh Shield, which I think I've got everything we need for it. We combine the vitamins and armor polish to make the armor bracing. We combine the fast clock and trifold map to make the plan, and the counter curse mantra, which is the megaphone and the nazar. And I think we've got everything we need. Let's see what else we're missing. Oh, we're missing the medicated bandage. And we've got the blindfold already. And we've got the band-aid, so we just need... What does the bandage require? We need Bizoar. Okay, so we need one last thing. I'm not sure if we have it. Which we can get from Hornets in the jungle so we may need to go over there and farm that up real quick so we can finish up making our onk shield i'm surprised we don't already have it we've been in the jungle a decent amount in fact what i think i will do is use my jungle teleportation potion jump right into the jungle whoa the the skeleton merchant actually sells marrow. I'm definitely going to just have to buy that, because that's a hard item to come by. So we've just got marrow. I don't know if I'm really going to use it much. It's such a good bow, though. It's basically like having a gun. Oh, and nice! We got a, our last piece of the Ankh shield. The Bizoar or whatever, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we're done in the jungle now. Kill up these last few enemies. Pretty excited. So we do the medicated bandage, and then we can do the Ankh charm. We can combine our obsidian shield and create the Ankh shield. Okay, we got menacing on the shield, and let's see what we can get on the amulet. Oh, menacing on the amulet as well. So to summon cryogen, all we need is ice, souls of night, souls of light, and essence of Elium. Ooh, we just killed a frost golem and got an ice feather. That's pretty lucky. It's only the second or third one we've killed this playthrough. And I think we're good to go for this boss fight. So let's give it a try. 
and summoner. Oh, I just realized I should have had a frost resistance potion. That's going to make it hard. Okay. Yeah, this this will be easier if I remember that potion. In fact, there's a few extra potions I should probably have on for this fight. But this is pretty fun. I like this boss. It's really like, it's kind of a peaceful fight. You're just dodging little icicles and listening to kind of a cool song. The only problem is I'm really lacking in my movement speed. And my clams aren't really doing anything to the boss. So hopefully we'll be able to be fine. The best thing is flying, because I can do a lot more movement speed while flying. And here's where the beat drops. Oh yeah. Oh, and I think I hit. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. I'm 21 seconds off a of heal. 15 seconds. Now he's going crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I made a few mistakes there. First mistake, I forgot my potions. <laughs> my movement speed is not helping either. It's probably better if I went with titanium, but I'm really wanting to stick with Calamity Mod armor pieces this playthrough. So what I've done is I've purchased as much potions as I can, and these are the ones I need. I might as well just invest right now and make them unlimited potions. So now I can craft the unlimited defense buffs, which will be very helpful, and the unlimited ranger buffs. And then the last thing I need to do is figure out how to do the unlimited damage buffs. I think I'm missing something. So the one I'm missing is the Titan Potion. Okay, so let's go see if we can buy that. 30 Titan Potions. And craft those into the Unlimited. And now we can do Unlimited Damage Buffs. But I think now we are ready for this fight. basically taking a lot less damage now. Seems like we're doing a lot more damage too. Those damage potions have made a big difference. Oh no, this is getting intense. Man, that movement speed. Yes, we got her. Or him, or whoever it is. We got the ice monster. Cryogen has been defeated. Sweet, and now we can buy a new bow. And let's see what we get from the treasure bag. Wow, we got lots of stuff. So we got the Soul of Cryogen, which are wings. They do 
to all damage and pick speed. All melee attacks inflict Frostburn. It's a pretty good one. Although I think I'm going to stick with my current wings because they do more damage. And then we have a magic weapon. We've got melee, frost core, a frozen key. That's great. And the frost flare. The lore says place in your inventory to gain a frost dash that freezes enemies at the cost of slightly reduced defense. So it looks like when we pick up the lore piece, we have 10 more defense than when we've got it down right there. It's kind of interesting. I think, I think I actually may use that. So I really want to craft our next bow, which we can do with this cryo ore. Here we go. And we need an ice machine to craft it. So right here. Nice, we've got two new bows. Okay, we've organized our inventory a tad, and I want to just go ahead and use our last cryo key right now. And we can try our new bows on the boss, see how they work. So let's give this one a try. We're doing 600, 700 damage per second. And let's see what our other bow does. That does about 400, 500, 600. And let's switch back to our fire bow and see what that does. That's doing about three or 400. Interesting. When it's hitting multiple enemies, we can really bump that damage per second up. Instead of our counter scarf, we're using our ice dash. And it seems to be working out pretty well. I'm gonna try this one again. I really like the just precision and the speed of the item. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my fire bow to knock out some of these adds that are spawning. Prejin is so good for a bow playthrough because you can get three bows from defeating them. We've already gotten two, and then now that we've defeated Cryogen, we should be able to get Cryo Ore, which will give us our last bows. And just dodge them right here. This is a fun part of the battle. Hopefully I can defeat him though. 13%. You gotta like dodge at the last second. And five seconds from a heal. There we go. Well, it has been a very productive episode. We've farmed a ton of new items. We've got a bunch of new accessories, new bows, and we're ready to get a new armor set next episode because we have now unlocked cryogenic ore. Next episode, we may take on one of the mechanical bosses or at least try to defeat the brimstone elemental. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next one, and I'll see you next time.